Hi there, it's Carl here from the theirishrugspa.ie. We have just finished a mammoth 20 hour clean on a beautiful, I think we're roughly seven by, oh, seven by 10 Nyan Shisla rug, an Iranian rug that um, the owner has had in his possession for 20 years. They bought it roughly 20 years ago. This came to us into our unit in Rathcool for emergency work because their dog had peed on it in three areas here here and over in the back of the rug over here so the first uh, port of call two weeks ago when the rug when the rug arrived with us was to neutralize the urine so it didn't chemically burn the rug now unfortunately by the time the rug had actually gotten to us the damage had already been done or was in process urine as it denatures forms uric salts which are alkaline and they chemically scorch or burn the wool. That's why if you see pee on, on a carpet or, or a rug, it'll turn sort of a deep, deep sort of yellow um, color, almost like straw where it's burning the, uh, the, the, the wool. Um, not such a big issue on a polypropylene, but a, a handmade wool and silk rug such as this, it's a massive issue. This rug is worth quite a substantial amount of money. This rug has roughly one million knots per square meter in it. Um, the rug would have taken four people somewhere in the region of about a year to make so if you imagine four people on a loom with an upright loom four people across making the rug so you're looking at roughly um, a, a year for those to do it so it's, realistically it's about a three year manufacturing process to make one of these rugs massively valuable absolutely stunning piece so after that we then concentrated on our back dusting process. We have special vibrators which beat mechanically the dirt out of the back of the rug. Um, this process took about five or six hours. The rug hadn't been cleaned in 20 years, so we pulled out about two kilos of dry soil. Um, we then started attending to spots and stains around the rug and then gave it a full extraction, wet clean. When that was done, we then force dried the rug, um, gave it another clean, force dried again, um, and then started basically attending with uh, various different oxygen bleaches and, and normal uh, normal bleaches to the uh, not normal bleaches I'm sorry <laughs> oxygen bleaches and oxygen reducers to attend to the to the yellowing or browning in the urine stage. We're now at a, at a point where about 80% of the stains on the rug we, we did have some wine spills and stuff like that are gone, but, uh, uh, but some very slight tinges remain. The urine um, has responded quite well to the treatment, but again, about 20 hours work on the rug. If you have a, a rug that you'd like us to have a look at, feel free to send us photographs um, uh, uh, by email um, or on Facebook, or indeed give us a call. We can uh, quote over the phone, you can, you can send, uh, send photographs and we can have a look for you. We can identify your rugs as well as put a value on them, and of course clean them, which is what we specialize in. So that's pretty much it. Carl here from the Irish Rugs just finishing this beautiful uh, handmade Iranian rug.